Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 as America! We are still annoying the Germans with their presence over here, is hopefully the idea. Um, waiting for the last light cruiser upgrade, and our battleship upgrades are coming in too. Once the uh, battleship armor and main guns come in, we're going to queue up two more battleships, is my idea. Even though, really, by the, um, the end of World War II, um, battleship combat was more or less obsolete... Uh, and now has been completely supplemented. Well, maybe it wasn't obsolete by the end of World War II, but at this point it's certainly been completely supplemented by, uh, or replaced by, um, aircraft carriers. Just works so much better. And then various versions of long-range bombardment as well. Um, holding off on the anti-tank over here, because I don't think our Marines will need it right now. We'll need the anti-tank later when we're fighting Germany, but for now I think we're okay. Um, yeah, uh, I can't remember if I addressed this in the last video, but someone pointed out that for motorized infantry, all I needed was, I think, cavalry small arms or something like that. Like, I didn't need all of the cavalry tech, so I wasted a bunch of research doing that, which is certainly very disappointing. Um, we will want better medium tanks. We're going to start wanting to build that soon. Um, what was the other thing that people pointed out? This industrial efficiency may have done a little bit more than I thought. I thought it um, simply reduced the amount of goods you used, but it may make it so that you need less IC per construction job. Um, so you've got one that gives you more IC and one that just requires less from things, which would certainly be pretty worthwhile. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. Also... Oh, Light Cruiser Armor finished. Oh, okay, cool. Let's remove that then. That's okay. Supply production is... Our supply production is pretty good. It's down now because we're not um, assigning any. It's like the supply movement that we care about. Anti-aircraft gun efficiency. Well, it might help in a couple islands, but isn't that huge a deal? Um, I would like more decryption to be able to see what people are doing. And these are always really important. Less attrition and stuff. Eat up less manpower. Okay, so once again, our queue will be filled. Okay, so we've got to wait a little bit more for the battleships, but our light cruiser is fully set up, so I'm definitely going to uh, queue up a bunch more of those. Um, five, maybe I won't set up a serial queue, because who knows, things might change. Uh, but I do want five sort of building simultaneous right now. That Even that doesn't eat up all of our production. I should probably build more landing crafts, actually. Get another five of those because I think we've got ten in the queue, which hopefully will be enough for a couple of these islands. But long term, we're going to want more, so we're going to do that. In fact, we'll probably want way more than that. But we'll, you know, we'll take it one step at a time. Battleship armor improved, good, and we're going to want to fill up our production queue. Well, not fill up. We're going to want to have a couple of battleships in our production queue uh, at some point, relatively soon. God, I love that I can sort of zoom out and not lag completely. Small arms advanced. Navy's under attack. That is a single something. I don't know, heavy cruiser or something like that. Um, and probably yeah, one and hopefully melt it down right away. I, I'm tempted. Maybe I will go and put the messages back on for combat. Um, naval battle is over. We get a lot of these stupid things, and a lot of them don't result in anything, but I want to know when something gets sunk, goddammit. It'd be really spammy, but you gotta do it. Um, how is my fleet? Good. Supplies. Everything is fine. Everything's hunky-dory. Alright. And most of my fleet is just chilling. Navy's under attack. Where? Our destroyers are being attacked by a real fleet. Holy cow. I assume you are on intercept and going to be attacking, which is good. The subs are just hiding out. Um... We'll have you join over there as well. Actually, we'll tell you what, we'll call it an intercept. All right, you're going to go to base first before you go out. No, just move then. Japan won and they sank one of my destroyers. Yeah, because they had a real fleet and I just had some destroyers that they were able to catch. Very unlucky for me. That's probably the real fleet coming right there. Let's get my real fleet moving here. You sit tight. Are they bombing me? Okay, engage the hostile navy. And some CAGs are fighting. Alright, so I have more ships, but they actually have two capital ships, two aircraft carriers. But, 
we've got the 5th Navy coming in here. Okay, we, see, it says we lost that battle, but we're still fighting the battle. It must be, it must be the, air, the airplanes or something. Oh my god, Japan's almost won it. Get in there. I mean, if we have to flee, we flee. Not there. They're actually fleeing. And winning, and I don't know, everything. Light artillery. Uh, I think what that means is we can probably remove the next level infantry from the queue here. All right. Who do we got? You definitely just have to rebase. Actually, let's rebase everyone. I suspect there's a lot of damage. Uh, we'll evaluate how we are, put some people maybe on intercept um, so that they can spend more time in base to repair, and then we'll see how it goes. It's interesting, though, that the um, Japanese Navy is way over here. Um, again, I don't know who's got the air wing. I think it was the Lexington. Nope. Seventh air wing. They were pretty damaged too. Yeah, they're not really good. What anyway? So this is going to be a non-carrier wing or a fleet. So and then we don't really have much in the way of heavies. Oh, it's all transports. That's why we have um, so many ships here. Right. Like, we have a lot of dudes. Shouldn't we be sending them out or something? We're going to do that, and then we're going to select you, and we're going to split off the submarine. And we're going to have you just patrol, see if we might be able to catch some people. Be on passive, though. So you don't actually try to engage. All right, and we can take some of these islands, too, at some point, which would be nice. I'm mostly focused on retaking my own damn islands. So what do you have here? We don't know. An indeterminate amount of stuff. Patrolling, you're supplied, okay. So again, April, I guess I could go and bring up the speed. Because April is when we get our true transport ships, um, our actual like naval landers, which is what I'm holding out for. I, it's tempting to run an attack with the Marines as is over here. But amphibious attacks are hard enough as is. I am going to wait until we've got our actual landing crafts over there. Okay, capital main guns. Is there anything else I'm waiting for? Um, the armor's already at the right level. Aircraft can wait until later. Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and queue up. I want a couple of battleships in the queue. Just two. They're expensive and they take a long time to build. Boom. And we'll probably want a little bit more. Okay. Uh, we can have more things in the tech tree. So, at some point we're really going to start thinking about our land doctrine. Um... At some point, we're going to want the Spearhead Doctrine. That's going to be pretty important. We want Special Forces, because that includes Marines and gives them more organization. Okay. Whoa. That's what happens when you go to speed 5. Ooh, I still have separation. Let me... Hold on. Let me queue up some stuff for that right away. Because we need to make sure to start working on civil nuclear research right away. And I'm going to make sure to put you at the top of the queue so you get maximum production. Okay, some CAGs are engaging. Forces of Japan have lost. We're attacking some more stuff. <gasps> they lost the Hirado. Good. See, that's what I like to see. Fleeing, lost none. Um, whereas our stuff is in decent shape, yeah? Our stuff is in decent. Excellent. Okay, one another technical battle over there. We did sink a ship, though. We lost the destroyer in that other battle, which is really frustrating. But my da my destroyers are kind of out of date. Um, and, you know, it's not the same as losing a, a capital ship. God damn it. Guam. But first we take Wake, and then I think we focus on taking Guam. Unless we want to go for one of these others. Ooh, hostile navy over here. The Congo was sunk. The pride of the Japanese Navy. The fearsome Congo has been sunk by the glorious USS Pennsylvania. It's a blow to Japanese morale and a boost to ours. We lose some descent. We didn't have any, but hey, go us. These aircraft carriers are taking some serious damage as well. They lost the Keiko and the Congo. 
looks like a couple of cruisers, I think. Maybe a light and a heavy, something like that. Um, speaking of things taking damage, you're okay here? Alright, you are going to position yourself actually blocking that. You are going to head back over here and rebase. We can't, like, put you guys on a carrier, right? It's just not an option, no. Have to be the kegs. <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. Got some dudes here. We got the two carriers without any planes over here. God, that is awful. But things are happening. Alright, let's risk going up to speed 5 again for a little while. Uh, that's not terribly important. Alright, that is a bit of a navy. Oh, did it end already? Yep, they're fleeing. We lost none. But, have we taken any damage? Mm, not really. Okay. Follow Singapore. Ah, oh, disaster for the British. Uh, aircraft carrier anti aircraft guns. We can go and cancel you. And. Pull back on the diplomacy here, like that. Lock it in. Espionage. I think we can probably pull back on you as well. Um, and then I'm just going to set the research to exactly what we have in the queue and encourage a few more officers because some of that count has gone down a bit. All right, still on speed five. Okay, and the production numbers are slightly above what we're actually building. A couple of transports. We sank one. The other one got away. There we go. More transports. Sunk one. I think it's the same one. We just re-engaged it. Um, that's you, right? Yeah, you're too far ahead, so let me cancel you. Um, I'll go ahead and queue something else up. This is all still cre uh, queued up. I mean, we could get some more destroyer crew training. It's not an upgrade, um, which means it applies to the existing dudes. Carriers get better detection. That's really. This is all very, 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 very tempting. And then there's the air stuff, more fighter training, which is most of what we're looking for. Um, I still don't know, like, what the. Oh, it's CAG stuff is over here. Navy pilot training, yeah. Which is brought up to 1942 level, which is nice. We might want to keep getting more. Yeah, I leveled the port strike a few times. I'm not really using that. I don't know what the CAG duty efficiency is necessarily. <laughs> and the escorts, we've got researching both the landing craft things, which is good. This is just tactics, so again, we won't need to worry about upgrades later on. Um, allows construction of assault ships. I don't even know what that is. Needs invasion tactics and landing craft support, so we are working on both of those things. Okay. Yeah, we need more doctrines. So let's start working on that. Okay, so exactly 27 techs in the queue. We'll leave it at that. We'll go ahead and do that trade. It's mid-February. It's Valentine's Day. Engaged a navy. We sank one infantry support weapons. We're going to go and remove you. Anti-tank is still behind, but I'm okay with that. And we'll queue up another doctrine. Ideally, something that would help with our ground invasion, but I'm not sure, because it's not infantry that I'm using. Armor morale will be nice, but we don't need it now. Um, I wonder if... That's, I'm not sure if it helps or not with the... Um, the amphibious invasion but it is good you know faster attack is nice so I mean we we'll want it at some point and it might help with the naval invasion so what the hell let's throw it in the queue okay how are we doing over here you guys are still fine you're fully supported no one's attacking you. I mean we're not gonna break out of this spot 
but it keeps a bunch of German troops there. I'm not using these infantry for anything. Um, I probably should have maybe not built them and built something else instead, but invasion tactics. Nice! And hopefully you can keep it in queue. Yes, we will keep that in the queue. More invasion speed. Yeah, it's going to be nice because that's a big hold up there. Okay. That's fine. How are we intact? We've taken a little bit of damage. We might want to do a swappy do here. Um, let's go and deselect the transports. Okay. Again, we'll go with six capitals and six support. They're a little heavy on the destroyers, but maybe we can catch more people. That's okay. Um, I mean, the whole fleet only moves at the speed of the slowest, and right now it's the battleships, but that's okay. All right, so you're going to move over to here aggressively. You are going to pull back to port. You're almost out of supplies as well. So we're going to rebase you over here. We don't want you fighting without uh, supplies and a little bit damaged. Actually, you're not getting much in the way of supplies either. Midway might just be overloaded with stuff. Does have a whole lot of dudes. Is there any way... I mean, I can create my own manual convoy, right? Um, let's go from San Francisco to... No? Do you not reach... Is that out of range for supplies? So it's got to make like a couple of hops? Or do we already have it? We already have San Francisco going to Midway. Can we double up on it? Is that an option? Can I run some supplies from, say, Seattle to Midway? Looks like no. Maybe you can only have one supplying anywhere. Which I guess would be fair. Um, how's your... In yeah, okay. Oh. So it looks like this is how it's sucking down the supplies. So we should definitely be queuing up some infrastructure along the way. Because this is look like how it's trying to pull it. Salt Lake City to there. And if I sort of start drifting north, like I'm assuming it does like, you know, some sort of shortest path algorithm. Where am I? Oh, too far. Still. Then I can't, did I not do the, um, the whole highway the whole way? Maybe I didn't. Alright, I realize my path is a little bit derp. I don't care. Okay, and then we run into the fully developed stuff. Uh, Alright, infrastructure map mode. Yeah, there was a bit of a highway. But maybe we need a bit more to make sure that it keeps flowing over here. Might be a bit of a bottleneck over the Rockies. Make sure these ports are getting everything they need. I have no idea if that'll make a difference. Pro maybe it doesn't. And I'm just going to waste a little bit of IC. Infrastructure do doesn't take up that much IC, although I did queue up a crap ton of it. But no, it really makes very little difference there. It just takes a long time. But the IC per day is so little. Landing craft support gone up. Excellent. And still, we're not ahead of time, so keep working on it. And we need to get everything to level 2 so we can eventually get some assault ships. Spotting advances. Nice. Yeah, everyone over here is in poor supply, and then they're going to launch with, like, nothing. I can't remember. Can you run, like, a resupply mission with these guys? Well, you'd be out of range anyway. And no. Hmm. Alright, let's take, um... Let's take the Marines. I hate... Why would you do this where this button moves like that? You see that? Why, why would that be a UI thing? Okay, we're going to put all the Marines on some transports, and we're going to move them to Honolulu. Um, just rebase over here. That's fine. And all you guys move over there. 
And let's hope that improves things. And I do have pretty good command over the sea. I've got a pretty good number of patrols over her, so hopefully that's not a completely unsafe thing to do. Is there supplies left on Midway Island? Sure, Columbia. Cruiser warf Warfare. That is a Doctrine. Okay. And it is now ahead of time. So we cancel that and replace it with something else. Oh, what else is ahead of time? Agriculture. Um, yeah, but we need the manpower. Even though it's ahead of time, I'm going to go ahead and sink it into there. Sub detection, I don't care as much about. Cruiser radar detection is pretty nice. Let's go and get some anti tank weapons. If nothing else, it might help the uh, the guys defending in Germany there. Not that I think the Germans have brought any tanks yet, but just to say. And actually, um, was there like naval supply stuff? There's a doctrine for it, right? We've got that capped out, don't we? Or is it not under here? Hang on. Uh, we probably do want to boost the supply stuff. There's something somewhere. Yeah, we'll want that, but that's a little too far ahead, isn't it? Is that under one of these categories? That might be what I'm thinking of. Um, like port efficiency. There's a thing for that. Where the hell is it? Sure, no. I mean, I'm just, I'm sure I'm just not seeing it, which is pretty standard. Got that. It's not any of these things. It's not a secret deck. That would be stupid. Not a theory, there's just these things here. Oh, repair rate. That'd be pretty good. I'll actually bump you up a bit here. And you know what? Those. We'll hold off on the cruiser crew training. Naval underway replenishment? No, that's the sortie one. There it is, basing. Hey, and it's in the queue. Okay, good. Whew. Maybe that's why I was getting confused, because it was already in the queue. And I was looking for, like, naval or supply, but it's just called basing. Now, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but there we have it. Anyway, how's your... Uh, so you guys are fully supplied. Good. And hopefully that helps everything else. <gasps> Some kegs are finishing. And some more naval bombing wings. Now, keg. Oh. No air base there. And the naval bombing wing, I'm just going to put there for now. What? How did you automatically go here? Okay, yes. Um, kind of in a dumb way, but alright. Uh, rebase the carrier. Rebase the carrier. Then carrier 1, I'm going to merge your flight. And carrier 2, I'm going to merge your flight. Nice. Um, will you need an escort on your way? Well, currently your CAGs actually have no organization, so maybe launching them right this second would be pretty dumb. Um, you know what would be pretty good, though? Is getting some naval bombarder over here. Now, they do have an airfield. Oh, we already have it, too. Well, we're going to combine them up. I don't know how we can select them. Apparently, that's sort of working. Yeah, we'll combine the two together and put them on intercept duty. So if they see any ships, they can stop, start bombing them from the land. Large ship radar advances. Which is probably... No, it's not even the... Did it get re -queued? Maybe you can't re it. Maybe it's just a one-time thing. Sure. Sure. 
Yeah, it's just complaining about agriculture. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we've got a fleet over here. Liberia, hello. Yeah, we got a fleet coming this way. Alright, come at me, bro. What you got? Holy crap, this is a real one. Holy crap, I did not realize that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get everyone out there. Sortie over there. Because then you'll go back. Holy crap. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. I repeat. We got three... Sorry, four carriers. What happened to the battle? It just ended? Did they retreat? We didn't really get credit for it. Okay, you guys have no supplies. Go back over here. Actually, none of you guys have any supplies. Oh, it's the international dateline problem. Uh, rebase. And I'm going to rebase you over here. We're just eating through too many supplies in one area. Uh, I don't see the Marines here anymore. And or their battle fleet. Um... Where's the navy that's patrolling around here? Is that you? Yeah, you're a small guy. Um, we may go and do our amphibious landing right now. I'm kind of tempted to do that. We are a month away from our actual landing ships, but... Well, their fleet can't possibly be that far. Yeah, it would be silly to attack now. They'd just turn around, and then we'd get a massive naval battle that we may or may not want to fight with our 0.00% uh, naval supplies, right? So we should probably hold off on that. Oh, I didn't realize our stuff's getting... Actually, this probably just got built. It's not actually damaged, I bet. It probably just got built, is all. Okay, that's fine. And then, naval base is still being built up. Naval base is fully ba built up over here. Infrastructure as well. I don't think it makes a difference, but what the hell. Okay, we're going to put a cut in here. Um, oh, we can go and scale down our espionage a bit. We're getting an excess amount of extra spies, so we can do that. Um, good. We'll go ahead and bring that up to 28, which is fine. All right, put in a save. I am looking very forward to taking Wake Island soon. Not quite yet. We're going to let their big flight fleet move away. Um, and then the question is, well, maybe. What's the timer on our... Where is it? Right over here. Late April into May. Some in March. No, I think what we're going to do is wait a couple of days and then go for it. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.